Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fatal Frame. The uh, masks, masks don't take your mask off. Jim carries the mask. Fatal Frame mask, masks for you. Fatal Frame now. Fatal Frame go. Fatal Frame fast. Fatal Frame too too fast. Fatal Frames too fast. Too furious. Can I leave? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find it. Looks like there's a secret thing here, but you see the little blue thingy is lighting up, and that means that there is a secret of some kind. Oh, okay. The shining the flashlight thing is uh, not always easy. Oh, uh, yeah, we're playing Fatal Frame for the spooky times. Ooh, spooky times for you, for me. Too fast, too furious. <laughs> Oh shit! This this is spooky and fast. <laughs> oh man, the loading times on this door are so hilarious to me. The way she just waits to open them. All right, so we are going. Wait, it's saying there's something else here, or maybe it's saying I can interact with the door. What was that? Did she just make like a startled noise? Or am I? No, maybe I just maybe I'm hearing things. Okay, so let's see what we got. Oh, this thing on the floor looks awesome. Doesn't look like a human body at all. I can't move. Oh, hey, it's uh, one of our friends. It's a letter from our friends. I wonder who it's from. <laughs> Good. Maduka. I'm taking a fat Maduka in my pants if I ever catch a friend like that. You ghost. All right, I'm just gonna touch you. Here we go. Oh, good. Yes. Let's make it nice and slow. Oh, okay. I was like, um... <laughs> something's supposed to be happening. Oh, she's covering her face. Oh, hello? Okay, that was kind of cheap. Maduka, that's not very cool. Is she gone? Oh, she just popped up there to attack me, I think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta take some of my herbal medicine, because you, you, you freaking got me. You cheap shot at me. Okay, so I gotta put some distance. And then X. Okay, there she is. You're looking good. You're looking great. The camera loves you, baby. <laughs> Give me your soul. <laughs> I like I like the uh, idea that I am like the villain here to uh, attack. Ooh, did I get her? I didn't get her. Dude, that was terrifying. The way they just jump out at you like that. Gotcha. Yeah, I love that. Uh, I I'm the bad guy. Like here, like take their like souls and shit. Oh, yeah, no. I was ready for you that time. Oh, it was a fail frame. What's happened? What was that? Why'd that happen? What's that mean? Okay, 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 okay. Smile! Big smile! <laughs> I've come to kill all the stupid ghosts for scaring me. <laughs> it's kind of cheap when they do this. Oh, oh, she didn't stop. Oh, dang. That was a lot of damage. Huh. Gotta take my... Hold on, everyone. Stop. I gotta take my damn... Oh, I should've used that. Damn. Whatever. I'll save it. It's fine. Alright, so like, now only those will stun her, I guess. I should be using the higher grade film. Like, oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Oh shit, no, the camera is so bad. Hold on. Let's film. Yes. I should be I should be using this for the jump. I don't know why I wasn't using this. I just I just didn't think about it. Where is she? That was a fatal frame, but I missed. Oh, 
Could you imagine stopping to load you, like, your little camera <laughs> in the middle of this fucking fight? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta change my film. <laughs> Another ghost. <laughs> Wait, no, that's me. <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to look at your own face. Right? You looked at your face. That was that note. It said, don't look at face. Now, Matuka's a Magana. Or Maduka was a Magoner. Uh, it looks like it just saved in the corner. Was that the end of the chapter? Oh, man. I should have done this in the last episode. <laughs> Fuck. Listen, it was getting late. I had to make dinner, okay? I had things to do. I can't just go around. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't 21 no more. Okay? I can't go around staying all up in the night with the boys, capturing ghosts in little bottles. It's not me anymore. I got, I got responsibilities. I got, I got, I got dogs and cats and babies, and chickens and geese and babies and geese, <laughs> babies. I get so many geese. You ever look in the mirror so long they they tell you like you don't uh you don't like recognize like the person in it anymore? That's like a legit question. I used to do that when I was a kid all the time. Like you just like look into the mirror until you like dissociate and then you're like you know? Maybe that's a weird thing to do, but I did it all the time as a kid. <laughs> Are you going to heal me? Because that would be nice. Have you forgotten that you're dead? Is that... Ugh, that was a pleasant noise. This game's full of pleasant noises. And pleasant trees. That's a great question. I don't know. You also just disappeared there. <laughs> Phase two. Oh, like the moons. Man. Wait. Do we not have the camera anymore? Okay, it's just on the floor in front of us. Pick it up. 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 Pick it. <laughs> Do not be scared of that thing. It's the one thing you brought with you. This is mine too, the book of notes about the camera. I trust the prototype camera to the descendants of the Esso family. As proof of the validity of blah blah blah, it was the camera that I first successfully captured power spirit force on film provide it proved that my theories were correct, and it was the first step I took on my unprecedented journey. I've yet to put this to the test, but it should be also theoretically possible to capture the forms of the deceased on film. Wait, what? The forms of the deceased? Isn't that what a spirit is? I first successfully captured a powerful spiritual force. It's also theoretically possible to capture the forms of the deceased. Is that not the same thing? Okay. However, the camera has a strong effect on priests, mediums, and others who are able to sense the inconceivable. Inconceivable. Inconceivable! Hence, I forbid its indiscriminate use. It's from your house? What are you talking about? Wait, she changed again. Uh, I don't know where the freak Maduka is. I can hear a noise coming from somewhere. Oh, I can't. I can barely hear. Is it this thing? No. Okay. Uh, maybe it's in here. Let's say I can't hear. I have the TV very low. Is this thing? Nope. What's a... Evade upgrade. Okay, that's not what was making that noise. What's this thing? 
Oh, good. Another terrifying phone call. <laughs> Jello? Uh huh. This is Misaki, I think. I thought my name was Ruta. Maduka was the one who just. Room from 203. Looks like I have to enter a combination. Find the code for the panel. So, oh, okay, so I'm playing as the other girl. No, I want to get that thing. That's on the. That's on the thing. That she's looking for. The children have been playing tricks again, opening and closing the door to the second floor ward. I change the door code regularly, but they seem to find out the new code every time I do. Apparently, the code game is their new favorite way to play. They write their their code for the door somewhere and give each other clues about where to find it. I scolded them quite severely about this, and some tears were shed. But the director has told us to be vigilant about the door. The patients might wander the building if the door is left open, so please warn the children about playing with the door. If you see more numbers written anywhere, be sure to clean them off. We don't want a repeat of last time. That number? Hello? Oop. Hello? <laughs> Shiny. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Oh, what's this? I'll stick this. I hope it's healing things. New building. Uh, blah, blah, blah. An introverted child. Maduka seems to be being bullied by the children by uh, her age. If you come across any children buying her, please discipline them. Room 203, Sacred, room, sacred Moon. So that was hers. 204 is Abia, Lori, Iori. Due to the recent death of Tomoko Hinuma, patients were moved out of the old building, but Lori locked her door and wouldn't come out. She broke off the doorknob, so staff wishing to enter her room would need, will, will need to apply force to the door. Rainy Moon. Uh, shows no reaction to mirrors. She also doesn't appear to have but it. Ew. But in conjunction with the worsening of her memory loss... Hiroki's mood and behavior are extremely unstable. She requires careful observation. Uh, his kleptomania is getting worse, and he does not respond to warnings. Please report any thefts of this on discovery. He gets angry when items are taken. Oh, this is a kid. Uh, to return their owner, so please try to uh, try to take them out of noticing. Ayako. Uh, intensely aggressive personality. Has a per propensity? Yes, I can read. To take pleasure in hurting others, displaying no signs of guilt, causes problems with her cruel pranks. I myself have had my ear cut by Ayoko. Shrimp caution required. Oh, I wonder if that's like the, the one who was like, welcome back. Okay, so we're a different person now. I can't believe I didn't realize that. Uh, oh, she only has ten of these. Yeah, we're gonna keep that one equipped it. You can evade a ghost attack by pressing B at the right time. That's awesome. Indicates timing for fatal frame. Okay, cool. Oh, but she doesn't have the upgrade. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, okay. That's cool. But she does have the photo of, of, of the ones I've taken. Crazy. All right. So it's supposed to be like she's from like a different like time. Oh, gotcha! Give me a number. Give me a number. Are you gonna turn around? Okay. I was like, I don't trust it now. Ever since man, now with the camera just flipped. Okay, it's locked. Ever since man in a uh, window. Uh, oops, sorry. Ever since man in window uh, popped up. I don't trust anyone anymore. God, I love her. I love their runs in this game. <laughs> help me! Help me! <laughs> All right. So we're not going anywhere up here. So we're going down, down, down to the bottom of the steps. Oh. Oh god, the camera's freaking out. It's like every time something happens. Gotcha! 
you dang kids. Wait, did I? I don't think I got them. You dang kids in here? With your mummies? The mummy's still here. Uh, I don't remember that bird being that big, but I guess it was. How do I move the flashlight? I, it says that there's something in here, but I can't. The flashlight is weird as heck. Pretty bird. Okay, cool. So that worked. I can put the camera on it, and then that will like get it to pop up. It's a child's crown drawing. A picture of a clock? I think I've seen this somewhere. Yes, in the main lobby. I bet they wrote their dang numbers on it. Those crazy kids. Oh, if I catch them, I'm going to steal their soul with my camera. I thought that pillar was a giant ghost, and I giantly pissed myself. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I hear the clock. Hold on. Okay, so she has no healing items. But I guess she has her own points. Because didn't the other... Or maybe I got more points. Do they share points but not items? Kind of whack. Hello? Old fashioned clock shows the face of the moon on its face. A scratch mark near its feet where something has been erased feel a strange presence. Something might show up if I take a photo. The camera is supposed to have strange powers. Correct about all of those things. Oh, I gotta, like, zoom in. How do I zoom in again? Or, no, I don't think I can zoom in. Right? I think I just gotta get super close. Yes. E395. Well, that's not a clue. That's just telling me what it is. I'm also fine with that, though. <laughs> but I thought I was going to have to, like, find a bunch of clues. I'm glad I don't. New patient. To all infirmary staff, a new patient will be admitted to the second floor. Her name is Ayako, and she'll be in room 207, Orchid Moon. Ayako will be admitted on the director, uh, introduction of Director Hai Haibara. So we must do everything we can to ensure that her stay is as pleasant as possible. I'll set her urge to take the utmost care when dealing with her. Oops. I don't know why I keep thinking that's a run button. But I do. Oh shit, what was the code? Can I look at... Hold on. Is it here? Can I, like, can I look at it? Can I make it big? I think it was 8395. But I'm going to look back at it real quick. I can't believe I forgot it that fast. No, it's, it's gone. Okay. Well, I think it was 8395. I hope it was. But I'm guessing it won't have me put it in. if uh, Or it'll pop up and be like, put in this code. Because if I just, like... Because I just forgot it, I just would be... Well, I wouldn't be screwed, because I could Google it. But, you know, if I didn't have Google, I'd be screwed. And this game came out in 2008 or something, so, you know. Oh, shit. You spooked me, lady. How do I get points for that? I definitely got her photo. All right. Close and open. It must be a combination lock. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I think it was 8395. Oh. Oof. Good job, Brain. Second floor ward corridor. Oh, so that's where corridor. That can I get out of the screen now? Thank you. That's where I was trying to get to over there. I'm not your plaything, Misaki. Yeah, 
Dookie Dookie. Hello. What was what's with the what's with the different? It's like a supercharge. Shutter chance. Don't go close. I'm warning you. I warned you. I will take your photo. I will post it to Instagram without your permission. I won't even let you look at it first. I'm just that kind of person. Freak. I do that though. If it's like a group photo, I'm not asking every single person if I have to like, if they like the photo. I'm not like a professional photographer, you know? If it's like a, if it's like a single picture or something, like of like a, of a person, or like a you know a couple or like a couple people, I might share it to them first and be like, hey, look at this photo. I know the door is unlocked. We just unlocked it. You don't gotta gosh dang tell me. I'm the one who remembered the code like some kind of super genius. All right. Now where am I supposed to be going? Because I do not remember. <laughs> Oh, wait, isn't, it a, isn't there a way to check? Investigate room 203. I don't know. I don't, like, how the hell am I supposed to tell? Okay, well, it's not that one. This is a pleasant noise. It's over. Oh, ugh. Hate that. Uh, you looking to get a photo taken? Oh, the music. That's right. That's what happened last time. I think she's dead. That the door that was rotted. What? Um, sir. Sir, if you could get back to your room. Don't give me control right now. Don't, don't, don't hand the rock to me. Oh, yep, two ghosts at once. Awesome. Okay, great, great, great. Super fun. We're all having a great time here. We got the camera. So who's this one? Oh, God, I didn't even see the one. I thought that was the other one. Oh, jeez. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, good. Oh, what? You teleported. You sneak. Oh, it was a fail frame, but I missed it. Okay. I tried to concentrate on the one that I can concentrate on. That's all I can do. That's the one that I think is, like, the one that likes to hurt people. I don't know what this one is. The one that isn't careful or whatever with the doorknob problems. Oh, oh, oh. No. Stand back. Boom, boom! That's like a perfect headshot. Where's the other one? Oh, real fair. Ooh, did that kill? Oh, I missed. Oh, 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 shit. That one doesn't hurt you as much. Oh, oh, I can go this way. Oof, 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 oh, oh, mistakes were made. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's in the wall. I just saw it the last second. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> okay, hold on. Everyone just wait a minute. I'm smart. Let's do this. Let's pop one of these. Okay. Now let's not get jumped by the one on the wall. There's one on the wall. I know I, my camera's telling me. Oh, what's right there? Gotcha. God, the way that sped up without, like, actually moving. Oh, come on. Where'd you even come from? It's, it's, it's annoying. <laughs> Ghosts are stupid. Oh, nope. I hate how they do that. How they can just, like, teleport behind you. Like, if you're, like, I'm just trying to get some space. Okay. Hold on. Did I get rid of the one? Because that would be awesome. Wait, what? How's it not a photo? What? How is it not a photo? 
All right, there you go. Oh, I guess I, I guess I did get the one. Fucking losers. And right, now I'm gonna open this freaking door. Oh wait, I gotta take a photo of it. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> this will help me. <laughs> but Duka, you open a damn door. Room with books. A place with a lot of books. Oh, that's where she, uh, that's where I fought her. Find the room filled with books. From the photo. Okay. Is there something in there? A noose. How pleasant. I don't like this. This is the most... That's like the most... Uh, scary thing. <laughs> oh, there's something down there. Good. Yes. This should be safe to touch. <laughs> Female patient suicide. A moldy old letter lies in the gap where the door was removed. The fact that you're reading this means I'm no longer in this world. I am the last living member of my family. My mother died giving birth to me, and fate saw to that both my father and brother met with fatal accidents. The memory of my family and the guilt of being the only one left alive was what kept me going. Now the sickness is taking even those small comforts away from me. My memory is the only pl place where my family still lives. Yet there's nothing I do to stop this thing from getting inside me and killing them all over again. I can't stand any longer. I remain alive as the people inside me are killed. And the most frightening thing of all is the thought that before long I won't even be aware of what's happening to me. Oh, jeez. I lost everything, yet I feel nothing. My family faces death after death, yet I feel nothing. That is why I'm choosing to leave this world where I have what little memory remains inside me where I am, when I'm, while I am still me. You think of these masks, like having these masks up around, were uh, good for the patients? Okay. So we're not going that way. So we just have to go back. We just got to go back to where we came. Dude, those ghosts. Like, two ghosts at once. I knew it was gonna happen. Was not ready for it. I, I gotta stop saving my film until I get some, like, better upgrades. Because right now I'm worried about health. And, like, it's, like, it's hard. You, like, you can't, you need to get some space. It's, like, when there's, especially when there's two ghosts, I'm, like, I gotta, I gotta, like, create, uh, I gotta create some, like, distance here. And then every time I did, the other ghost would, like, disappear and, like, what? Oh, that was fun. You're, uh, gonna go away? Cool. That was a nice thing to say to me. <laughs> oh. I hope that's health. Like, I think if I heard that. Right. Yo, five of them? Respirator zones can be used to increase the power of the lens. Select the camera or the flashlight from the menu, then enhancements, and choose the lens you want to upgrade. I mean, I only have one lens, right? Uh, where... Is it items? No... It would be here. Add extra functions to the camera. Blue Spirit Stone. Oh, does she not have a lens? Maybe. Maybe she doesn't have a lens. Yeah. Okay, I don't think she has a lens. Yeah, she only has the, the film. Wait, did I... Oh, because I, 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 all right, so now I see. I used one of those better uh, films on the uh, Spectre, even though the Spectres aren't, like, you can't damage them, so that was kind of a waste. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting there. I know this is the way I have to go because I was just here. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Listen. My ghost radar isn't popping off, okay? So I'm not scared. I'm just unsettled. Ah, I really hope that'll make me fight her again. 
But she's not dead. Well, she is dead. She's in that other room up there anyway, so... Oh, there's another thing to grab. I hope one of them is health. I mean, that's awesome. Stun lens. Uh, ah, there's lenses. Okay, cool. Push goes back when they are hit. That's a big help. And how do I upgrade it? Oh, I see. Then I go to lenses. Yes. Oh, I thought it was five again. And I was like, I get it real quick <laughs> before, it, before it decides to make it more expensive. Oh, shit. All right. This is going to suck. But I see one of those little dolls. Hate this. Okay. That's the worst one. <laughs> Oh god, I hate that, and I hate that so much. That's so unsettling. Uh, oh, 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 the man in the window. Hey, how are you? You're not nearly as scary as the friggin' little doll I took a picture of. So, uh, how about you just back up? Her, yeah, I guess her camera just has a different, like, like, ridicule to it. This is the guy who, like, freaking leaps at you. Oh. Got him. Got that stun on him, too. Which is awesome. Where are you at? Oh. Oh, is that a fail frame? Nice. More photos. Why can't I take a photo? Oh, I thought that was supposed to be, like, combo or something. Weak. Oh, I thought he was dead. Oh, this is gonna be an easy shot. Easy lineup. Oh, baby! Hit him with the fatal frame. Is he dead? Well, he was dead. What, what? My, uh. I'm getting, uh. I'm getting readings from all over. Should I just, uh. Be getting out of here? Oh, there he is. Where's the. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Hello. <laughs> Selfie. Hello. <laughs> there you go. That wasn't so bad. Nah, right? <laughs> just, just like, don't even react to it, you know? Oh, it's a specter. Uh, I don't like knowing there's a specter in the room and I can't move right now. There was. There totally was. There was a yellow thing. It's it showed it. Alright. Whatever. I mean it's not alright. Yeah, I don't even know what that said. I'm just trying to see if there's a, it looks like there's a blue thing. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Woman standing by masks. I see you're not going away. I am now going to go away. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, sick. Oh, there's something in there. If someone was... Okay. Why? A uh, Katuna festival is held on the island on the day of the lunar eclipse. On that day, they say that all living souls tend towards the underworld. And that the souls of the dead return from there. What? Since the moon symbolizes the soul here, the eclipse must be thought of as a consumption of the soul. I have read that the uh, Kagura used to be performed under, uh, using under using a mask called the Mask of Lunar Eclipse. The document I read was very old and fragmented, but I ascertained from it that the black mass is said to have brought to the, to the island the disaster known as the Day of Tranquility. That doesn't sound like a disaster. I asked the head of the island about this, but he told me with a fearful look on his face that no such thing ever existed. It seems the mask of lunar eclipse is something of a taboo subject here. From what I've discovered, the mask is a dangerous artifact, but still I wish I could have uh, had the chance to take a look at it with my own eyes. I could have 
had been a great help in the investigations of the spirit world. Cool. Like other like the game was like, no, don't be don't be a chicken. Go back and get the mask. And I'm just like, can I leave? Can I leave? Can I leave? <laughs> Alright, it looks like there's nothing in here. I thought maybe there would be. No, nope. is there someone behind this door? It usually is with this one. So wait, hold on. Oh, why did I go in that or one in that room to all right. I guess I'm just going back to room 203 now, but. I guess I had to get a piece of the mask to, like, unlock it? Or. I don't really understand. All right. I was going to say, something's got to pop up. It's been more than uh, 10 seconds. Oh, did the other girl. Yeah, okay. That's. Yep. That was my exact thought, was that this girl pushed that girl down the steps. I'm gonna take this opportunity. I saw that happen before here a long time ago. All right, that's great. Take this opportunity to trade, get you a medicine. You know what, maybe just even call it two medicines. Because I am still hurt, aren't I? Yes. Uh, so let me pop one of them. Let me pop one of them medicines. All right. So now I got a medicine. I'll tell you, these, I, I swear to God, I said this already. I'm going to say it again. Bravest people in existence. The, like, protagonist of the game. No shot. If I was seeing, like ghost kids and they were saying shit like die I'd be like I, 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 if I saw what I thought looked like a ghost if I saw what I thought could be a ghost I'd be like alright yeah I'm done here wrap it up I'm going home <laughs> I am done oh that's right I got a key totally totally forgot I got that key All right. Good. Good, 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 good. Sorry, it looks like it's been here a long time. August 9th. What was her voice? Yeah, night time. I know it's time for bed, but I get scared and I can't sleep. I get scared because when it gets dark, I see my face in the window. When I see my face in the window, my face is all wrong, my eyes are all wobbly, my nose is bendy, my mouth is twisty. Inside my head gets all twisty too. I want to forget about Ayako and all the other bad things, but instead the good parts go away. So I hope tonight I can sleep well. Alright. Any spooky ghosts in here? Even though I already handled this ghost? My darling Maduka, how are you? Did you choose a name for your new pet canary? He's going to be a lovely little friend for you. I'm sorry I can't visit you more often. Even when I'm not here, even when I'm not there, Maduka, you know I'm always thinking of you. I'll bring you some crayons the next time I visit, okay? I know how much you enjoy drawing, so I'm sure you'll like them. The doctor says that doing the things you like to do is good for you. That's true about most of the time, yes. It helps you fight your sickness and get better. So make sure you draw lots of bitches. I know it's scary when you can't remember things you want to remember, but don't forget, Maduka, you're a Tsukumori. You know that the Tsuki in our name means moon, don't you? That means the moon protects us and keeps us safe. So don't worry, Maduka. Do what Dr. Harry Barra says. Behave yourself and be a good girl. I'll visit you again very soon. Mummy. More like mummy. Oh, why is it red? Why did it, why is it going red when I press the L button? What's up? I'm going to touch you. Well, um, where are you going to touch? No reaction to that at all. No, just being like, well, 
The other is an old nurse's logbook on the bed. It might contain some useful, useful information. July 19th, one item to report today. As before, the issue is with Ayo, Ayoko in room 207. At around 3 p.m., I heard Maduka crying, so I rushed to her room to check on her. When I got there, I found that her pet canary's head had been snipped off with a pair of scissors. Oh. Ayoko was standing there with a pair of blood-stained scissors in her hand, so there's no question that she was responsible for killing the bird. I told her off as usual, but she just laughed at me. I got no sense that she had my appreciation. Wait, I got no sense that she had any appreciation that what she did was wrong. It's one thing to say that she can't tell right from wrong, but Ayoko's behavior is just too much. I worry about her negative influence on Maduka and the other children, but in accordance with the doctor's wishes, we're unable to take any effective measures against Ayoko's transgressions. Oh. Uh, poor bird. Time to grab more things. That's enough to upgrade the lens again. Uh, which... I need to, like, walk myself through how to do something every time I do it. <laughs> I'm like, how do I do this? What is it? Like, how does it upgrade? Does it, like, push them back further? Does it, like, take less time to recharge? Oh, there's another blue thingy. I don't want to miss it. Oh, it's on the ground over there. I would just be looking. Yep. Excuse me. Gotcha. Peeking at me, are you? Okay. I would just keep that freaking camera like out and loaded constantly. Battered old desk, strewn with pictures and old books. They look like children's books, but they've become tattered and illegible. I thought there was something on the ground, but. Was I wrong? Oh, there's something over there. Hold on. I got a new upgrade. I got a new upgrade. This room's full of stuff. Uh, enhancement upgrades. Oh, it's equipped. It shows the hit points for ghosts. Oh, shit. Yo, she's becoming like a little a little all-star. A little all-star over here with her super camera. Whoa. Super film. All right. So, dude, there was nothing on the ground. Okay. All right, well, I investigated it. Oh, wait, no, I got to invest investigate I in room. All right, cool. We're going to the same place. You want to walk together? We can hold hands. Wait, can I? Like, nope. Okay. I was like, can I just walk through? <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing. Jeez. Did I not get it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. How is she so strong? I'm gonna guess that Aiko's room is this way. Also, that Aiko is gonna be our uh, antagonist. And also, she's gonna make me. Uh, she's gonna add digitate my bowels and make me poop poop my pants. It's nice to get some light. Um, okay, well, there's something over there. Let me just turn my back to the entire room real quick. Yes, yeah, maybe she's just a manga artist. <laughs> it just references to draw to draw body parts, hands. It's hard to draw hands. I love manga. <laughs> Like, we just saw her creeping on us. Like, in the other room. Why is it, like, different in this one? Oh, okay. Well, that, that was weak. That took off health. I don't like you this close to this. Boom! Get fucked, dork. Hold on, wait one second. I just got some new film, and you seem like the kind of person who would really appreciate having a super picture taken. Uh, normal loading times. That's fine. I'm also going to pop one of these guys to cheap shot at me. She on the ceiling? She over from the floor? Oh! I hate this. I hate this. 
Oh my gosh, she takes up so much health. Behind me. Oh, the hands? The hands? I gotta watch out for the hands. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> oh god. Stop, stop just moseying around. I, got, I guess I gotta wait. I guess I gotta wait. God, I don't like how she gingerly walks at me either. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Fuck you, you little psycho. That's for the canary. You dickhead. Oh, I see. You're fucking dead. This is for every fucking bird you ever fucking hurt in your goddamn life, you little psycho. You brat. You little shithead. I should've just taken what I could've gotten. Oh, what, you coming from bed, huh? Having a bad dream? About to have a fucking nightmare. Your name's Shake Pool, bitch. Yeah, that's right. You better fucking melt. Don't kill birds. Don't, don't hurt medical staff. Fucking bitch. What's that, you? You as an adult? I'll take your picture again. Fucking try me. I'll fucking hit you with all, with that open palm. Don't you come over, don't come over. Open palm. Open palm. Don't touch me. We're not gonna open palm. I would've open palmed. I'm on fire right now. There's too many, uh, kids. Like, there's too many kids to remember. <laughs> I know there was, like... There's five who were, like, the only survivors of, like, the event. Two of them are the protagonists we're playing as. Was that the end of the chapter? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll say it. Uh, two of them were the protagonists that we're playing as, and the other one is, a. Uh... Uh, the other, the others are dead now. One was Maduka, and she came back, but she died. The other two were dead already, so there's only two left. But I'm guessing that the people, there's just more kids also who were in this, like, mental facility or whatever this is. This medical facility, I guess I used to say, as, like, a cover all my bases. <laughs> oh, this chocolate bar is too heavy. Why did you put this on me? It's thick. It's thick with heavy cocoa. She's gone to the island. Am I playing as another person? Who's this? Because that was, how was her mom? Is this her dad? Her brother? A friendly medical staff worker? Who's, who's that? Oh, Hayabara. That was the guy who runs the place. I'm remembering things. Follow the man who looks like Yohari Bara. Okay. All right. Well, we'll play to the next save point, I guess. Uh, Choshiru. Kira. I've heard that. Kira. Kirsh, Kirshimiya. Right? We've heard that name before. But does he actually run? This was my notepad. What's it doing lying here? <sighs> Missing girls found alive. Uh, the five girls who went missing two weeks ago were found alive at around... Excuse me. 11 p.m. last night. Names of the girls as are followed. All, all are seven years old. Yes. Uh, so there's... Aso... Uh... Mis Misaki. That's the girl we were just playing as. Uh, Tomato and Mario were dead. Madoka is the one who came back here and then died, I guess. And Ruka is the one we came here for. Yomo Suki. So they have different names. The girl vanished during the incident. Shrikin, Rikitoni, 
Kagura, leading some to say that they were spirited away. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> they were found in a cavern beneath Hayabata Infirmary, Infirmary sorry, by a senior officer. Oh, this guy. Uh, Churiso Kirishima uh, of, of the Police Department, Criminal Affairs Division, who confirmed their identities. So this is the guy who found them in a cavern beneath, beneath, yes, beneath the infirmary. Police are focusing their investigation inquiries on the staff of Hibai Infirmary. Shows information on the characters and events in the story is filled in your, as you progress through your game, progress through the game. I can read. It's a tape recorder. I will use, I use it in my investigations. How did it get here on the ground? There's tape about the incident inside. How did it get here on the ground? <laughs> Look at this. Three hot dogs. How did they get on the ground? <laughs> I guess I can eat one or two. I mean, uh, no one's going to miss them if they're just here on the ground. I did skip lunch. Yeah, well, three are dead. And let's be honest, they're all probably dead. You're also probably dead. Can you not run, sir? Do me a favor, just tear that door off of its, like, thing, because it's going to close behind you, and you're going to be like, blue. This place is screaming haunted. Now it's screaming it twice as loud. <laughs> hmm. Flashlight. Oh, let's get there. <laughs> the Islanders blossomed. Alright, so this is the other, the flashlight we've been hearing about. How can you even give this to your daughter? You knew that she was going to come here, even though you told her not to. Should have been like, here, take this flashlight. It'll help you. Spirit stone flashlight uses a spirit stone to store moonlight and emits the lights and blasts. You can use it to attack ghosts. Press X to raise spirit stone flashlight. When ready, press ZR and then release it to emit a blast of moonlight. The longer you hold ZR, the larger the blast radius will be. All right. So, oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, wow. Okay, three ghosts. Uh, I don't really know what that far up to the top left is. Oh, that's their uh, health? Am I seeing their health? There's one behind me. Gotcha. Oh, God, another one. I don't know, like, I can't judge how long I'm supposed to, like, be holding it for. You think this would be like easier to use because you don't have to look into it? But it seems like it's like less effective. Also that these ghosts are less effective. It is nice that I can just like hold it and then just like let it go whenever. Oh. Do the ghosts keep coming? Wait, where did I go? Why did I disappear? <laughs> Am I a ghost? What's happening? It's not like... It's not going no more. Uh, okay. The flashlight has stopped working. Okay, there we go. Now it's working again. What the hell was that? <laughs> Sayaka said they might have already blossomed. What the hell happened to the people on this island? Does it have anything to do with the Harry Barra being here? Something is something is lying where the ghost disappeared. So you're just totally cool with ghosts being real. <laughs> Quip the camera lenses onto uh, Chorizo will enable him to take photos. You should remove it before fighting wraiths. Why would I ever got the switch upgrade? Why would I ever want to take photos? 
But why would I want to do that? Uh, the lenses. One of the last photos to be taken with the spirits and flashlight. Okay, that's cool, but I don't want to if I can't fight people. Oh, so they do share. They do share gems because he also has two. Shit, I should have saved some of those red ones. Ugh. What does this do? It allows you to equip multiple lenses and switch between them. Shows the hit points for ghosts. Alright. But, like, is there a way to easily switch between them? I hate that noise. I don't know. I, so is it saying that I'm not going to be doing damage? Oh, wait. Okay, there you go. So that's the photo one. So it's like... Photo. Okay, got it. Cool. Alright. It's just the D-pad. Just the D-pad. Alright. Not that I would want to upgrade the... Anything I got for this guy yet. The one lens he has. Oh, it's safe one. Okay. Herbal medicine. Oh, this guy's finding a lot of stuff. I'm gonna look around this room before I save it. And do see if there's a, any kind of trade thing. More herbal medicine? It's a warning note to infirmary employees. Please take extra care concerning nightmare wanderings of... Oh, nighttime. <laughs> I was like, what's a nightmare wanderer? <laughs> nighttime wanderings of moonlight. Syndrome patients, when in charge of night watch, check the phase of the moon. On nights when the moon is full, ensure all locks and security procedures are in place. On nights when the moon is obscured, increase patrol frequency. There's a lot of stuff back behind there. He's like in a different part of the uh, infirmary altogether, too. Which is neat. Alright, let's just check behind this counter real quick. Yes. Oh, this is a flashback. This is where he found them girls. They were just chilling there. Dude, I wouldn't make a good cop. Because if I saw that, I'd be like, uh, you're all haunted. Speaking of haunted. <laughs> I'll stab you with this light. <laughs> okay. We're just going to ignore that. Alright. I do want to check behind there, but I don't want to get too distracted if this is like a whole thing. Okay, no. This is a dead end. All right, door's locked anyway. Cool. I just wanted to get what, whatever, what was there behind there, but looks like nothing's behind there. Their run is so funny. Their run is like how I walk. <laughs> Extras. Oh, it's all still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And any new costumes for this handsome gentleman? Hmm. Ooh, sunglasses. Only five thousand points. <laughs> Wait, was it 5,000 or 50,000? Because 5,000 is actually not bad. It is only 5,000. Yes. Super cool. <laughs> He's super cool now. Uh, let's get two of these. Just to have a few. Because I feel like he's going to have more fights. Especially since he has sunglasses. <laughs> I can't see anything in here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna save it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna end it here um, for now. Um, yeah, cool. I mean, that was pretty good. Uh, it was about an hour, and uh, the last one was a little over an hour. So and we're on the phase three. So I mean, like you know, if there is, if each phase takes me an hour, and there's how many phases of the moon? Google, how many phases of the moon are there? It's saying any phases of the moon. How many phases of the moon are there? Eight phases. According to NASA's solar system, 
NASA says eight phases. Google, NASA via Google says eight phases. So, uh, this might be shorter than I thought, you know? I don't know, but Matt, I, get it. I bet it gets longer as it goes. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you're having a spooky time and a, uh, 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 a spooky, uh, uh, spooky sandwich. I hope you give yourself a little spooky, a little spooky sandwich. And it's full of spooky tomatoes, spooky lettuce, and your spooky meat of choice, which we all know should be bologna. All right. Love yous.